Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing the laser effect in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection HD. Let's get into it. First thing I did is I went ahead and put my footage in the timeline and I moved the scrubber to a position where the individual is firing the weapon. Then what I want to do is open this up, go to Open Effects Toolbox, I'm going to go to Grab a Frame, click on Grab, and Save to Disk. I'm going to save, I'm not going to save mine really, I already saved one, so I'm going to click Cancel. Next thing you need to do is you need to open up a program called Inkscape to make the laser. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now that we're in Inkscape, we're going to go ahead and open up the picture. I'm going to leave it on Embed. Make this full screen here. I'm going to go to the Draw tool, and we're going to draw the laser. So we're going to click, 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 click and then select it by right clicking it. Then go to the selector tool here. Now we're gonna do Control Shift F and that's gonna bring up our fill and stroke. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to fill. We're gonna make it white. Then we're gonna to go to stroke style, leave it on the line, change that to zero. Then we're gonna click fill. We're gonna duplicate the object and then we're going to click fill again and we're going to go to red then we're going to move this down one step we're going to click on lower selection and now you see it's white because the red is behind it now now we're going to go to stroke paint and we're going to make sure that it's on red we're going to click on the stroke style the line again we're going to make the width uh, let's make it 17 now you see the red behind it and we're gonna add a blur to that and we'll do 2.4 on that bad boy and we're gonna click on the white and we're going to go to fill and we're gonna go to blur and change this blur to 0 0.5 and now we basically got the laser ray that we want it's looking good so what we're gonna do next is we're going to click on the image and we're going to pull the image away from the laser. We're going to highlight the laser so it's selected Then we're going to export it. Click on export and you want it to be a PNG you can make the name wherever you want make sure it's in the right location and click export. Um, I already have an image of it so I'm not going to export it again. So now let's go back into the video editor and show you how to go ahead and add this laser to your gun. Okay, now we're back in the editor. Now, what I've done is I went ahead and I split my clip about two hundredths of a second in after the talent clicked on pull the trigger. So you can see this is where right where he stops pulling the trigger. Split my clip there. And then I also split my clip two hundredths of a second after he let it go. So you see he lets it go there, one, two, I split it again. All right, now, I need to go ahead and go to my pictures and drag the footage into the timeline of the laser gun, or the laser. All right, so I got it up to size. Now I'm gonna right click on this, go to Open Effects Toolbox. First thing I'm gonna do is go to Picture in Picture gonna reset that and I'm gonna size it up so you want to go ahead and do your horizontal your vertical and you want to go ahead and get your size so it's the right size as well so let's see I can move this over a little bit and let's go right about there now I'm done with that, so I'm going to add another effect. I'm going to go to 2D Editor Advanced. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to go down to Cropping. Because I want to crop out. Well, first thing I need to do is go ahead and, as a matter of fact, 
Let's go ahead and just crop it out first to make it real close to the laser there. And I'm gonna use keyframes here. I'm gonna go to my last keyframe and make sure it's exactly the same. Okay, and it is. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go let me do it that way so I'll just do it this way I'm gonna move one frame in I'm gonna add a keyframe here and at this keyframe I'm gonna make the right zero so that's all the way out I'm gonna go to the last keyframe and go one step back so I'm gonna make it zero again so that's all the way out basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating the look that the laser itself is actually coming out of the gun I see on my last keyframe I had to change that up a little bit because there was some movement but now as I step through you'll see it looks like the laser comes out so we're good with that next thing I want to do is scroll up to transparency here and I'm gonna go to the first keyframe and I'm gonna change the softness to 35 it makes it look more realistic see now it actually looks like it disappeared I'm gonna go to the last keyframe I'm gonna bring my softness to 35 there as well All right, so I'm good with this, so I'm going to go ahead and exit. Now I'm going to go to the video. And on the video, what I need to do is I need to add a laser uh, lens flare. So I'm going to right-click, go to Open Effects Editor, go to Red Giant, No, Light Factory, and my preset is Red Laser. And then I need to put this in the position where the gun is. So I'm gonna move that where I want it. Now, once it gets into position, it's important that you use keyframes because you have to use keyframes to make sure that the lens flare stays on top of the point of the gun. Right now, I haven't moved over yet. There you go. So now I'm gonna step through. I'm gonna use keyframes. I'm gonna step up. Go back to the beginning of this bad boy. Go to first keyframe. And I'm going to make the adjustments as I step through. If I need to, I'll move the lens flare to make sure by using a light source to make sure it stays right on top of the point of the gun. So you just step through and make your adjustments. When you're done, you're going to go ahead and close it out. I'm going to go back to the picture of the laser beam. Open effects toolbox there and you're going to add the same effect to the laser beam. So you're gonna to go to Red Giant, No Light Factory, I'm gonna do the red laser. Now for this one, you don't need to do any keyframes because the keyframes are already made for the movement of this item. So you're just gonna to have to put it on what you want and then close it out and you're good to go there. Now, you wanna add another effect, you wanna add the Dream Glow, okay. And you want to add a glow to the image of the laser so it looks better. Then you want to add another effect. I'm gonna go ahead and add the blur effect on there. Put your blur at about three to make the laser look realistic as well. You're gonna close that out gonna go back to the video right click open effects toolbox I'm gonna add a new effect and we're gonna add a color correction to this because we want it to we want to change the lighting on the scene so we're gonna hit reset and we're gonna go back to using keyframes so we're gonna to go to the first keyframe and on the first keyframe we want everything to be set to zero okay Matter of fact, on the first keyframe, let's let's do this. We're gonna change the brightness to 25. Matter of fact, let's not do that. Let's leave it on zero. Let's move forward. And we're gonna move the brightness to 25 here. And we're gonna move the red gain to 74. I'm gonna to go to the last keyframe 
and make sure it's all on zero. We're gonna step back one again. We're gonna make the brightness 25. And the red gain 74. And close it out. And that's it, let it render. Add your sound and you are done. Do me a favor, do me a favor like always. Click on the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up on this bad boy. Let people know that you like this video. Leave me a comment, please. I love comments. I always get back to you. They make me so happy. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.